So I actually have a secret to reveal. This isn't the real hot dog Beretta. What, you seriously thought I was gonna pay $1,600 to review that fucking thing? No, so this is actually the $799 Kramer Beretta original with stickers on it that I made using the original design from the actual hot dog Kramer. It even fooled Kramer themselves when I posted the video to my Instagram story and they liked the story. You know, so I'm a little confused about what this guitar actually wants to be. I picked it up from Zounds because I thought that it would have the same exact neck profile as the Kramer Beretta Special, which is $179. After all, that neck was amazing for a $179 guitar, so a $799 guitar should be as good, if not better, right? In actuality, it turned out to be a thick C shape identical to a Strat neck. So it's a Kramer guitar that has a Strat neck, 22 frets, one humbugger at the bridge, and a Floyd Rose 1000. Huh. It has me like a little confused because if you're a blues guy that likes Strat necks, you probably want a neck pickup. And if you're a metal guy who likes Floyd Roses, you probably want a thinner neck. And if you're a Midwest emo guy, you probably want to pass fire in a bedtime story before you get tucked in at night. So who is this guitar even made for? I guess it's in the niche of people who like Strat necks, but want a guitar that doesn't look like a Strat, but has a Floyd Rose. The build quality of the guitar is fine. The yellow paint job is pretty cool, and it obviously served as a great foundation for putting a bunch of leaners on the guitar. I did, however, notice that some of the upper fret edges are a little sharp. You keep looking at me like that? You're next, bitch. Nothing that I couldn't fix with a few minutes in a fret file, but it's a little disappointing on a guitar that costs $800. Up against this guitar today, we have the Jackson Solist SL3X DX in Ox Blood Rap. So if you're familiar with this guitar, you might be wondering to yourself, Kayla, why didn't you go with the crackle finish? Really? Hi, are you struggling from having a boring, stupid, ugly looking guitar that looks just like everyone else's? Did you peak in high school and you're now looking for a way to fit in with all those cool kids again? Well, put some crackle finish up in that bitch. All you need is a little crack to make it less whack. It works for everything. Ugly guitar, crackle. Ugly phone, crackle. Ugly car, crackle. Ugly house, crackle. Ugly girlfriend, crackle. Crackle finishes used to be cool to me because they were kind of hard to find on old shred sticks from the 90s. But now that they're in production again, it just sort of feels like they're a little too basic looking. Now that it seems like everyone has them. But opinions are like asshole. Everyone's got one, and that's just my two cents. This new Jackson Solo seriously feels so much better to play than my old 1990s Solos Pro. You know, the ones that go for like thousands of dollars in reverb and are the reason that everyone respects the Japanese Jackson Guitar Factories. The neck actually does appear to be slightly thinner at 0.83 inches at the 12th fret on the SL3X versus 0.85 inches at the 12th fret on the 1990 Solos Pro. Perhaps the biggest improvement that they've been doing is the huge cutaway in the back right here that allows for so much higher fret access than on the old design. I've been seeing Jackson come out with guitars using in this cutaway in recent years, but holy shit, it is so, so, so much better than the old Solus design. This has to be like some of the highest fret axis that you can reasonably get on any shredder guitar. Sure, it might be a little on the spectrum of the Floyd Rose Special, but I've had absolutely no issues with any of the Floyd Rose Specials I've handled. This guitar also has a super deep Floyd cavity, like root canal deep, giving you those like crazy pull backs. The fret edges are really well taken care of, but that's something you would expect on an $800 guitar. I also really like the sound of the stock pickups. The bridge pickup is like super hot, but the neck pickup actually has this really cool clean sound. Frankly, the only thing I could really find to complain about this guitar is the sort of iffy job they did around the paint trim on the headstock. I mean, after all the nitpicks I've done on guitars, this one's pretty damn minor though. So how does this stack up against the Kramer? They're the same price after all. Well, the Beretta is basically a Strat in Shredder's clothing. I guess if you're looking for a Stratocaster that has no neck pickup, a Floyd Rose, and a slightly shreddier look, then that's your guitar. But if you're looking for a shred stick that plays amazing and sounds amazing, 
it looks kind of good. The SL3 X blows the Beretta out of the water. It's like not even a competition. Plus, I mean, looks wise, the Jackson headstock looks kind of cooler to me. The headstock that Creamy went with on this Beretta kind of reminds me of that. Didn't I do it for you, dog? In my opinion, if you play the style of music that I do, the Jackson SL3X DX is the far better buy for your $800. So like I said, both these guitars can be had at Sounds right now for $799. Both the Kramer and the Jackson have no credit check financing available, so you should totally take advantage of that. I mean, if you're looking for that kind of thing, because I haven't seen that anywhere else. And of course, the return policy is 45 days after your guitar is delivered, so you get that extra piece of mind. Sounds is an awesome company, and if you purchase either of these guitars or anything else in the description, I get paid too. I genuinely appreciate the support a ton. It helps me continue doing these unsponsored and completely brutally honest reviews for you guys. Hello, and welcome back to Creatures of the Wild. I'm your host, David Atumbra. Today on Creatures of the Wild, we observe my wife, who has just asked to use the grill outside for the very first time. She's opening the grill, and she's got the aluminum foil. So far, so good. Wait, what the hell? Is that my new guitar? Holy shit, that fucking mustard. I should have married that horse we covered on the show last week instead.